we moved to talk about weather this afternoon, and I don't, I don't know what we did right, but a couple of days like we've had here in the middle of July, it's, it's almost like Christmas, you know, six months away from Christmas. I have a feeling our holiday is about to end, though, Jeff, huh? <laughs> no, yeah, we're going to be right back to reality here pretty soon, but this has been great for us. Uh, can't really describe how unusual this is to have full sunshine and this low of temperature and humidity right in the middle of summer. It's 86 right now in Wiley. The wind is calm. The air is still very dry, very comfortable, and we'll still hover in the upper 80s to near 90 over the next couple of hours before we see those temperatures drop to near 80 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight. But certainly this is an evening for a walk around the neighborhood or maybe dinner outdoors because you really can't get away with this type of weather in July very often. Tomorrow, it will start getting a little bit more humid and a little warmer. Not too bad yet. We'll be in the upper 60s tomorrow morning, so that's nice. And then up to about 92 tomorrow afternoon with southeast winds between 5 to 10 miles per hour and plenty of sunshine again tomorrow. The humidity will really start going up over the weekend, and you'll start noticing it feeling a whole lot more like summer by the time Saturday and Sunday roll around. Now, today and again tomorrow, we do have a level orange ozone action day, an air pollution watch. Because of the ground level ozone, you want to cut back on that pollution by maybe ride chair, riding a bike, walking if you can, and just limit the amount of time you're spending outdoors during the afternoon if you fall into this sensitive group, which means you have some type of respiratory problem like asthma or emphysema. Now, as we take a look at what's going on here in, in Europe, temperatures in some cases are well above 100 degrees, and you can see that across parts of France, Germany, and Belgium. In fact, uh, we have some video out of that part of the uh, world, highest records since the highest temperatures since records have been kept in some locations. In London, so many people wanted to visit a community pool, the line wrapped around the swimming complex. Many parts of Europe don't have air conditioning, so people are finding whatever they can to stay cool in whatever method, and that usually includes water or fanning themselves. Uh, temperatures well above 100 in Paris today. Our forecast, much better than that, thankfully. Temperatures will drop into the upper 60s by tomorrow morning. We will be warming up a little bit more tomorrow with highs in the lower 90s. As we get into Saturday, highs in the lower to mid 90s, we start seeing those temperatures creep up even more. As we get into next week, this big dome of high pressure, and if you've been here in the summer months, you know whenever we see this thing get close to us, it means hot weather, and that means next week temperatures will start going above normal again. And I do have, for the first time, 100 degrees showing up in that seven day forecast a week from today. So lower to mid 90s tomorrow and through the weekend, small chance of rain Monday, don't count on much there, and then upper 90s to near 100 by the middle of next week.